Hello crafty cuties and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to do a little memory keeping video. I want to talk about how I store my mementos, photos and things like that for my memory keeping, how I keep up with monthly memory keeping, and I'll also flip through my completed March insert. Now every single month I memory keep a little bit different. Um, recently I've been making a lot of handmade books and that's how I will store all of my photos and little mementos that I like to collect. This month and then the next couple months I am going to be doing an insert in my traveler's notebook and it's kind of like a junk journal style. Um, so this insert right here was being housed in my traveler's notebook here, my Melon Dory. And uh, for April, I will have a separate insert that will be in that um, dory. And I'm actually going to show you guys how I create that because I did have someone ask. And uh, what I'm going to do is basically I fill up one book per month. So this is March. And then when I have April and May, I'll have three inserts and that will be enough to create an, a hardcover book. And I've done this a couple times now. I wanted to kind of show you an example so you can see. Um, a lot of people kind of wonder or they want to see a junk journal that is actually used. Now I feel like I use, I use my junk journals kind of opposite of what maybe other people do. A lot of people create their junk journals with actual junk and mementos and things like that. You know, they will take those things and make those into their pages and flips. I don't do it that way. It doesn't work for me. Um, I do save papers and things for my junk journals, but uh, mostly what I do is I will create my little booklets and then I will sew them into like a hardcover book like this. Um, I think this was like my September book. I can't remember. I think so. Yeah. And I did daily memory keeping at this point and basically I have um, lots of memories in here. So you can see I just have a bunch of different pages that are designed and um, they're kind of like a scrapbook layout if you will. And then I sewed it into this hardcover which I made after because I wanted to know how big everything was and yeah I really like how it turned out so that's going to be what I'm doing for the next book. So once I have enough booklets, I will sew them into a hardcover. I will share that with you guys. Um, the other thing is what I do to save everything and collect all my items is when I have a picture on my phone that I know I want to use, I try to print that out right away, like when I'm home. I do have a printer in my house. I really like the printer we have. Um, I don't know, it's just a regular printer. It does print up to like 11, by, or sorry, 12 by 19, which is cool because I can print out 12 by 12 if I wanted. Anyways, I normally just print out normal sized photos and then I will <clears throat> either try to scrap them right away, like do a layout right away if I have a chance, but there's many times that I don't have a chance to do that right away. And I will toss them in an envelope. This one's kind of junky because I've been using it. And right now, what I have in here are things started for April. You know, we are on, what, April 6th, I think. And so I already have some photos. I have a paper and anything like ride bracelets or tickets. I will just throw them in here until I can get to it. Um, I always date them right away, either on the front of the photo or on the back. Let's hope I actually did that with a little note so that I will remember when I get to it what that was all about. Personally, if I don't do this every single month and kind of keep up weekly, I get too far behind and it's stressful to me. I've been memory keeping since my son was born, actually before that, but consistently since he was born. So five and a half years now, and uh, I did miss a little chunk of time in there when I first started my YouTube channel, but I'm slowly getting back to that and it's no fun. Okay guys, so maybe you want to see a flip through now and I will show you, and like I mentioned, I will show you how I created, how I'm going to create my April um, insert. Really simple, but um, someone wanted to see it and I'm gonna show you decorating the front. So the one thing that I don't have done on this book is I don't have it sewn together. And that is because I will be sewing it into a book. I don't like to double sew it. It just kind of wears down the paper, I think. So everything's just folded in here. And so here we go. 
Um, this is the first layout, and I don't always have these in order by date. Um, that doesn't bother me. It doesn't. Sometimes the date might be on the back of a tag, or on some journaling. And sorry for the glare. I'm trying to get that. Uh, yeah, this is when we went to a really cool exhibit, um, a Lego exhibit. And so I wrote the best weekend. And inside this little thing here, I have their ride bracelets and I have a little journaling talking about the day. I think I, have, maybe I just have their ride bracelets. Um, this right here, this was my mom's birthday. We were out having a fun time. And so on the back of this journaling card, I did some journaling talking about the day. I just do what I can. If I don't have time, if I, you know, if I'm not feeling journaling, that's okay. This, I love this layout, I actually just did this one. Um, and see, this is from March 20th, and this is definitely, I have other layouts in here that are before this date. I don't mind, it's all March. Um, this is just Allie and I doing some bedtime stories. This is something we do every single night. I don't think I've ever put him to bed without a story. And I actually used some book pages and from Snow White, this book was demolished. It was like tore apart. So I was like, I'm just actually going to use the pages. And yeah, I know I, I did some ink on top of it, but I like how it looks. And I just talked about his favorite books at the time, or like right now. Um, this is just some photos of his friend London. They're super, super close friends. And I did some journaling about what they like to do together. Here's a photo of Alistair and our dog. Alistair and our cat. You can see that these books mostly are about my son. I do try to get family photos of us once in a while, but it's just mostly about him because that's what I'm taking pictures of. Um, and then right here is some journaling on the back of that card talking about our pets. Here's a family photo and I just used some die cuts. And if I only have time to just glue down a picture and that's all I can do, that's what I will do. It's different for every single layout. Sometimes I'll have a, one layout on, you know, a whole open area here. But other times I have, you know, something over here, something down here, something over here. And I know how many pages that I usually typically use, but I can always add more or I can use a second booklet and I'm okay with that too. I'm very flexible with it if, if you're catching on. This is actually a thumbnail photo from my vlog channel saying five-year-old reads pregnancy test results. Um, that was the last pregnancy test that I had taken and wasn't, you know, pregnant. So I actually journaled in here um, on this paper and just talked about my feelings and how, uh, you know, just talking about my feelings and whatnot. Um, this is actually an envelope and this came from some happy mail. I had ordered some things from Ink Road and uh, she had also sent me a little card and so I used the envelope. So this is an example of using actual junk as a page. I used the envelope um, and then here is some more happy mail. This is from Rin and I don't always include happy mail because sometimes it can be big and bulky but I really liked this and it fit in really well and then I actually used the pocket here as a place to do journaling and I have a bunch of extra pictures that I didn't end up actually making a layout for and there's probably like six or seven pictures from March and I like to do that a lot too because I don't always want to do a layout with all of the pictures but I want them to be organized and with you know the month and year that they belong to so that's when I'll create an envelope or something and they can just be down there and we can look at them later and sometimes I'll do journaling on the back of them it, it just depends and then over here um, this is from my sister's baby shower she's about to have a baby girl and so there's a picture of her, uh, her in the middle and then my mom and I and a, a picture of the cupcakes that were at her baby shower and it was like Minnie Mouse themed so I thought that this journaling card was perfect and I have a little tag from the same collection and I journaled about that day as well. And this is one of my favorites. This was the last day of March and we went to a carnival with Alistair's bestie Asa. He has a couple best friends, but Asa is one that he has had um, since he was a little teeny baby, like newborns. So um, it's always fun to do things with them. And I thought this layout was super cute. Um, I love the little die cut. It says, this is great. And there are some acetate balloons, like a little ticket. And then this is actually a bag. And I have his ride bracelet in there, along with a journaling card. 
and yeah, I really like how that turned out. And that is everything. Um, I've gone through periods of times where I do a photo a day. I've done that probably maybe four or five months total. It's a lot of work. If I'm not working on other projects, it's okay. Like that has to be my main project and that doesn't really work for me since I like to do a variety of things. So I don't stress about it. If, if I can get one photo per week, I'm okay with that. That's four layouts, but obviously you can see I do more. I probably average like two photos a week, um, but I don't pressure myself. I don't say like, I have to get a picture in today. Um, I take real life experiences or like things that we're doing and actually just use those when I think that it's something I want to share. So I hope that was helpful to you guys. And again, if you want to see me creating an insert, um, I will have that on a separate video. It's very basic and simple. Um, Little Hot Tamale actually has a no sew traveler's notebook insert video that I actually just saw her put up, I think yesterday or something. I'll have that linked below too and I'll have that yeah, anyways. <laughs> okay, guys. So there's everything. Feel free to ask me questions below and stay motivated. Keep up with it. It is worth it for memory keeping. And I know that it can be time consuming, but you know, make it work for you. You don't have to do what everyone else does. You don't have to, you know, be as organized. You can just toss your pictures in. You can glue them down on a page. There is a way to make it work for you and that is completely up to you. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.